Angus Robson, thanks for joining us. Um, made your first team debut for Sussex a few weeks ago now. Uh, many congratulations on that. Must have been a good feeling to um, to get into that first team. Yeah, um, something I've worked towards uh, all season really since I moved here in when was it, early April. Um, yeah, look, basically I came to the club uh, just looking for a fresh start. Um, I've been at Leicester for nearly five seasons now and just felt it was time to you know, make a move in my career um, and try and move forward with my own career. So came here and yeah, I feel I've done a lot of hard work this season and um, yeah, it was a great reward to, to get a first team to boot. And we'll, um, we'll come on to your, um, your season as a whole, but just going back to that game, um, initially um, when you were signed it was going to be on a, a trial basis for the season with just second 11 cricket. Just talk us through how you ended up uh, making that first team debut. Yeah, basically, um, well the ECB amended a rule um, I don't know the exact details, but basically there was a rule that stops a player from um, playing for oh, a new county when they're signed somewhere else at the start of the season or something like that, and that was amended about two months ago. So, yeah, look, just through a way to runs in the second team and yeah, consistent performances, I managed to get a chance. Yeah, as you mentioned, you've had a very, uh, very successful um, season in the twos, uh, I think, leading run scorer in the, um, in the second 11 championship. Um, and of course, uh, part of that winning team in the in the Sec 11 2020. Um, you've uh, t talk us through that se your season in the twos and uh, what you think um, the secret to, to the to the way to runs has been. Yeah, look, um, yeah, it's, it's been a great season since I've um, since I've arrived down here. I feel I've you know kept improving as a player. Um, what do I put it down? I think I'm probably you know a more improved player than I've ever been. Um, before in my career, maybe I feel I've kept improving every season, and you know I've just been very determined. Um, I think going back to second team cricket this year after a few years of um, playing consistent four-day cricket has just made me very hungry to want to get back into the first-class arena. So from the moment I arrived at Sussex, I've just wanted to you know do everything I can to make sure I can get um, into the first team as quickly as possible. So. You know, a little bit of luck always helps, and look, it's been a great team to be a part of. Jason Swift, the coach, has been, you know, I can't have to say enough thanks for how much help he's given me, and you know, it's a great bunch of boys, and as the results show, it's a very good team, and just being a part of other good players has always helps. Talking of um, an atmosphere or a setup, um, what's it been like coming into a, you know, as a new player into a into a new setup? Um, have you been welcomed and, uh, and it's been conducive to, to good performances? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, look, one of the reasons I made the move from Leicestershire at the start of the season was just, you know, I felt that it was the time in my career to, you know, really, you know, make a move and, you know, I wanted to drive my career forward. I'm, you know, an ambitious player and I just felt uh, Sussex was a place where I could go and, you know, be around a lot of, lot of high class players. There's so many international players here or guys that have played international cricket before and I just you know things like that can only help your game so you know things like that were a big factor in me um, wanting to come and get an opportunity at the club and all you hear is good things about the place so look it's been you know very easy to settle in um, you know from the moment I got here you feel fully a part of everything and it's a great bunch of guys so look obviously a, a bit nervous when I first arrived down here something new I only knew knew a couple of two or three of the lads well and the rest were pretty new to me but yeah it's been very easy and you know I can't yeah say better things about the place. Fantastic and, and talking of, um, of ambitions obviously you've um, you've made your first team debut now um, how do you see the the rest of the season and and, um, and the next uh, the next couple of years here at Sussex? Yeah look moving forward this season obviously it's a, a massive month for the club there's a you know a real chance of promotion um, for the four-day side, and you know, I hope to be a part of that. You know, there's a lot of competition for places at the moment. There's so many good players um, in the fold. But yeah, look, ideal. I'd love to try and hold my spot, and you know, just do do the best that I can for the team and help in any way um, I can towards the team having success. Um, you know, I just love love being a part of the part of it. Um, and yeah, moving forward, I'd just love to. You know, I'd love to be here for many years to come if all goes to plan. Um, you know, I'm confident that things will work out and really hopeful that you know I can get a chance to impress in the next month and you know do a good job for the team and just do the best I can to be a good team man and things like that I'm sure will you know help me down the line. That's it and also you're um, you're a few years into um, to the qualifying period for uh, 
for England. Is yeah. that an ambition to, to follow your brother's footsteps and, uh, and, and uh, with international aspirations for England? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think this I've been here about six years now, roughly, and yeah, that's definitely um, every player's goal. You know, it's another. You know, that's something that you know forced not forced me, but played a big role in in, in me moving moving on early in the season. I, you know, I always want to just you know go as far as I can with my cricket. There's no doubt about that. Um, and yeah, having you know having a brother that's played international cricket and you know being you know makes it feel that little bit closer. Obviously, there's, that's a long, long way away, but yeah, definitely that's um, the dream, no doubt about that. So always, yeah, keep pushing towards that one day. Do you, um, do you talk often to, to Sam, your brother, about, about cricket and sh sharing experiences and, and advice from, uh, from the circuit? Yeah, um, yeah, we're very close. So yeah, we speak, we do speak often actually. Yeah, he's been a, you know, probably the biggest, biggest influence and, you know, biggest help in my career, no doubt about that. So he's probably the, the main person that I go to um, regarding my game, whether I'm, you know, doing well or, or struggling a bit. So, yeah, look, it's, I'm obviously very fortunate to have um, have someone close to me like that that's able to, yeah, help me out. And um, as you've already mentioned, a, a few weeks left of, of the championship season. Um, talking of international ambitions, obviously playing in, in Division One is always a, um, a a big factor for for batsmen in particular. Um, how realistic do you think of uh, Sussex's uh, hopes of, of, of getting back up into that top division? Yeah, how really, I think the hopes are very realistic. I mean, when you look at the team and, you know, right across the, you know, 1 to 11 in that first, you know, in that first class team here, it's, you know, a really strong team. I think the hopes are, yeah, very good. You know, it's going to take a lot of hard work. There's five, five tough games to go, but there's no doubt, you know, we're in with a big chance. And if you play, play some good cricket, it's definitely on the horizon. Um, and yeah, obviously it's a it's a big motivating factor. Everyone wants to play Division One cricket. Um, it's something that I I haven't had the chance to play yet, and I'd love to be a part of that. You know, fingers crossed. So yeah, well, it's going to be you know difficult challenge, but definitely one within our grasp. And you'll be hoping to play a part in the, in those final five games. Absolutely, yeah. Wait and see what you know. Wait and see what selection holds. But you know, I'd love to if I'm called upon. I'd love to yeah, I'm determined to do a good job for the team and. If not, do my best to you know help out the lads. Fantastic. Well, uh, Angus, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, wish Cheers. you all the best, and we look forward to uh, watching you score many runs for Sussex in the future. No worries. Cheers.